So in this problem, we want to show that we can rewrite this expression in such a form. And we want to find the conditions for C and D such that these two expressions will be equivalent. So we can do this by using Euler's formula. So Euler for, Euler's formula tells us that e to the power of i theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. So you can, I'm not going to go into depth on how you can prove this, but you can actually prove this using a table series. So you can look that up if you're interested. But going back to the problem, we want to, we want to express this expression over here in such a way that it is a sum of a cosine term plus a sine term. So we can do this by applying Euler's formula. So this term here becomes cosine kx plus i sine kx. And then this term over here becomes cosine negative kx plus i sine negative kx. So cosine negative kx just becomes cosine kx because cosine negative theta is just equal to cosine theta. And then sine negative kx, I can just rewrite this as, I can just move the negative sign on the outside. And once again, I can do this because sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta. So now I can group up some of the terms together. So I have a plus b times cosine kx. And then I have i times a minus b times sine, x, sine kx. So if you compare this term over here with this expression over here, you can see that c is equal to a plus b, and then d, the term that's stuck to the sine term, is equal to i times a minus b. So if we define c and d in such a way, in such a way as here, then these two expressions will be equivalent. So essentially we have solved our problem. That This is all we're looking for. The conditions where c and d such that these two expressions are equivalent. But then in this problem, we're also asked to do this the other way around. So just now we defined C and D in terms of A and B. Now we also want to, to define A and B in terms of C and D. So let's do that as well. So all we have to do is just to solve a system of linear equations. So A minus B. So I can divide both sides by I. This just cancels out. And then 1 over I, I can multiply both sides by I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by i. So the denominator becomes i times i, that becomes negative 1. So this whole thing becomes negative i d is equal to a minus b. So now I can focus on these two equations. So if I add them up, I get this is equal to 2a. So a is equal to c minus i d divided by 2. And then if I subtract the two equations together, I get this is equal to 2b. So b is equal to c plus id divided by 2. And so there you have it. Now you can define a and b in terms of c and d in such a way. And then under this condition, our two expressions over here will be equivalent.